Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight I'm here to share my review of the Sleep & Glow Pillow. I've been using this for a while and I have some thoughts, so if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I'm excited for this video because I was given this opportunity. This company contacted me and they said, do you wanna review this pillow? And as soon as I did a little bit of research, I was very intrigued, so I said, sure, send me the pillow. I would like to use it for an extended period of time so that I can gather all of my thoughts and share them with you guys. And today is that day. Obviously, all of my reviews are completely transparent and honest. I'm going to tell you guys what I like about the pillow and also offer the company some criticism, some feedback, and hopefully they'll take it and they might change future models of this pillow or maybe not. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. The reason I was intrigued by this pillow is its design. So the whole idea is that when you sleep on a standard pillow, your face is smushed into your pillow and it can cause wrinkles over time. Well, I'm at the age where if I can do anything to not get wrinkles when I sleep, I will gladly look at the product. So here's the pillow. And I'm going to try to show you guys. Um, the pillow is basically flat like this. And I'll insert a better video shot of it, of the design. But the whole idea is that there is this indentation up here. So ideally, when you're sleeping, this, I don't want to get makeup on it, but see how it cradles so you're, you're, uh, side of your face is not smushed into the pillow. That's the idea of the pillow. So as far as sleep wrinkles, this is something that I thought of, you know, a while ago, but I didn't really know a lot about sleep wrinkles. So on their website, and I'm going to use this as a reference, it says that sleep wrinkles can worsen existing expression wrinkles. Expression wrinkles are the wrinkles that you just get during the day by being expressive, smiling, laughing, crying. As the skin affected during sleep is usually creased along existing expression lines, the delicate skin around the eyes and lips is especially vulnerable to increased wrinkles caused by sleeping with a regular pillow. Usually sleep wrinkles are vertical, but since our faces are very different and our preferable sleeping positions are diverse too, the creases may also be horizontal usually around the eyes. Over time, sleep wrinkles don't disappear in the morning, but can turn into permanent wrinkles. That was something I was experiencing. It was funny because the last pillow that I was sleeping with was the one that came with our mattress, and it's the Lisa pillow. And I did like it, but I was having this issue where in the morning, when I would go to do my makeup, I would have creases from my pillow. And it was funny because one morning I actually woke up late for work, and I went in and my coworker was like, why do you have lines on your face? <clears throat> and it was because I had no time to get ready. I just had to go to the office. And I literally had like, you know, two or three lines on my face from my pillow. So that was embarrassing. But let's talk more about this pillow specifically. So their claims are that you're going to get younger looking skin. It helps prevent and fight against sleep wrinkles. Even $250 plus face creams cannot fight sleep wrinkles. Puffiness reduction helps fight morning puffiness thanks to the height difference between the front and the back bolsters. Natural care, sleep and glow turns sleep into effective skincare. Deep sleep, the, spe the specially designed anatomic shape provides you with the ultimate comfort during sleep. It also says that the pillow will last you for five years. So once I learned that, I was all on board because usually you have to replace pillows somewhat frequently because they'll flatten out and just get kind of gross over time. This also helps the position that you sleep, helping with orthopedic effects like back and neck pain. Advanced materials, memory foam adjusts to the shape of your face, neck, and shoulders, and it contains silver ions. These have antiviral and antifungal effects. They also mentioned on their website that this can protect eyelash extensions. So it says, delicately prolongs the life of eyelash extensions thanks to these side face cradles 
a maximum contact with the pillow surface. So these are the side cradles that they're talking about where your face kind of goes in here. So the idea of this pillow is great. I really liked some of the claims that they made and you know, I was looking at the website before I even took the offer for them to send it to me because I didn't want to receive something that was not going to serve a purpose in my routine, whether that's sleeping or awake. So I've been sleeping on this pillow for about a month now and I have some criticisms. So first of all, the price of this pillow I think is much higher than what I would be okay with paying money for a pillow. I'll be completely honest with you guys. When I think of my previous pillow, which was the Lisa pillow, and obviously it didn't have the design that this pillow has, that pillow is, I believe, about $100, and that was kind of my top tier. I would never spend more than $100 on a pillow. Even though they offer a 30-night trial with this pillow, the price is still a lot in my personal opinion. This pillow, the same model that I have, without the pillowcase is $175. That's a lot of money and I realize that and I would never tell you guys to buy something that I don't think is worth the money. Will I continue using this pillow? Sure, because I own it, but I could not say that this product right here is worth $175. Just keeping it real with you guys. I'm going to offer some suggestions to the company that I think would make it worth a higher price tag. First of all, when I was sleeping on the pillow, I like a thick pillow, and this pillow is pretty thin. So especially once you consider over here where the indentation is, there's only a very little bit of material over here on the side. I also think that the pillow itself is small. This seems like a standard size pillow, but if you put it on top of a standard size pillow, it's actually a little bit smaller. So I realize that that could just be personal preference. I just like big pillows, but these are all personal preferences and I don't think that I would be completely alone in saying that I like oversized pillows. I like to be able to, you know, move my head around and not feel like I'm going to fall out of the position that I'm supposed to be using this pillow in. I felt like when I was laying on this pillow, if I move my head back just a little bit, then I'm not in the indentation. So it's not serving its purpose for me. You know, I'm a side sleeper. So I feel like not only making it larger, but also making it thicker and allowing the size to create more room for movement. So you don't feel like if you move back an inch too far, then you're out of the divot and you're not getting your intended um, results because you're out of the divot. Does that make sense? As far as this pillow goes, I think it's a really cool idea, but I think in order to warrant the price tag, there should be some changes made. This is a totally personal preference, but I'd also like to see a dark pillowcase. Pillowcase only comes in white. I don't like white bedding because I feel like it gets dirty. I'd like to see this in a dark gray or black, just as a complete side note. I like that it's silk, that's really cool. I like silk pillowcases, but I'd like to see it in something darker. So I will continue to use the pillow. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll use it every single night, but I do own it, so I'll utilize it. But as far as the price tag, I just don't think that it warrants the heavy price tag in my personal opinion. I am very grateful that they sent it to me to review and gave me the time to actually utilize it so I could see if I liked it or not. Um, but I think that either there needs to be some design changes to it or the price needs to come down some because you have all of these other companies that are really competitive in creating memory foam pillows and companies like Lisa and Casper and Purple. They all offer really 
innovative designs for their pillows. They might not have a divot, but they are innovative and very cool and have really good reviews to back them. I just think it's a really competitive market to have a price that much higher than these other companies just because the pillow has a divot. I just can't reconcile that. Those are my thoughts on the Sleep and Glow pillow. As I continue to use this, I will provide you guys with another update, whether I, you know, use it every night for a couple weeks and then put it to the side or whatever. Of course, I will keep you guys apprised of if my opinion changes, maybe I'll use it for another month and I'll fall in love with it. Who knows? But that's where I am right now with it. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.